right, good afternoon and welcome back everybody to the Go Wellness Practice Accelerator course challenge. Uh, this is your uh, host of the evening, Kate Archibald, and I'm joined with the Badass Go Wellness team with the amazing Annie Asher. Annie, how's it going? It's going well. Happy Monday, everybody. What announcements do we need to cover today for everyone? Oh man, there's so much good stuff. Basically, um, session four is just around the corner. It's like two and a half weeks away. So December 2nd and 3rd or 3rd and 4th, 2nd and 3rd, I think. My my head's all wacky. Fr the first Friday and Saturday um, of, of December, we are hosting session four and it's going to be such a good event. So day one is all about team building and how to build out your practice with, and the roles that each team member makes. Uh, Reagan's been working on some really beautiful um, processes on just the ascension of a client and their process and how each person in your clinic, you know, helps support that role. So I'm really excited about the, that. And then day two is going to be super cool. We're going to be starting out with some uh, eight, like uh, north to south digestion stuff with Dr. Kellums. He's going to be teaching some great digestion. We'll be moving into a little bit of ozone therapy support with uh, Dr. Mark Yonda. And then we're going to have a super peptide party day. It's going to be amazing. So we're going to be diving into peptides for sexual health and, and sexuality um, support there. We're going to be talking peptides for pain. I mean, brain health fatigue, building muscle, recovery, immunity, you name it. So we are going to go on a deep dive peptide exploration and it's going to be fun. So yeah, it's going to be a great event. If you have not registered uh, either virtually or live, please do. We've got a couple of seats open left for the live event, but we will need you to register by uh, next week at the latest. And then um, if you'd like to attend virtually, just shoot me an email and let you know. Most of you on here have let me know, but but yeah, it's 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 gonna be a really fun event. So that's all I've got in in uh, you know housekeeping news. Great. Well, we got the OG himself, Reagan Archibald. Reagan, how you doing? Man, I'm I'm doing great. And um, yeah, I'm excited for today. We've had a few questions that came in. And so um, you know, I'll I'll cover those and then. I'm going to share with you guys just some framework for utilizing peptides in the most efficient way possible. And um, I'm giving you a sneak peek into the peptide party today. So there's still a chance for you to join us. And, um, and so make sure if you want to join us, get go to uh, info at gowellness.com to send Annie an email. And um, we'll tell you all the cool things that are going to be happening. And there's actually a special surprise for those of you who can join us live at the Zermatt um, here in Midway, Utah. And uh, you don't want to miss it. So uh, for those of you listening to this, uh, you get this on YouTube, or if you're listening to the podcast, just stop everything you're doing and email Annie right now at info at gowellness.com because we have a very special gift uh, for you uh, this, this season and it's uh, it will go fast. So uh, get with her very quickly. Not to mention, I mean, we're all basically the funnest people alive when we get together, right? Like we've got so much fun stuff planned and it's just like the energy everyone plays off of each other. It's super fun. Got a super delicious dinner planned. And Midway yes. is just magical anyway, if you're into beautiful mountains and, you know, cool underwater craters and stuff. Yeah, it's it's pretty neat. So yeah, make sure to get registered, everybody. Um, Reagan, do you want to start with our questions that came in for the week? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Let's, let's fire them off. Go ahead. So, um, we didn't have too many this week, but uh, one question was about growth hormone peptides and its relationship with insulin resistance. So uh, with someone with I, like insulin resistance or type two diabetes, could growth hormone peptides make it worse? Um, so there was an article I think I shared with you that was shared. Um, so just wanted your your input on that. And and this is interesting because one of the studies they did on AOD nine six zero four is uh, they looked at AOD nine six zero four. By the way, is a growth hormone Socratagog. And that was a big question is, is will it, um, you know, is, will it uh, create uh, insulin resistance? Can it increase, um, you know, growth hormone or will it increase IGF-1 was the real marker they were looking at. And they found that 
it actually didn't. And, um, you know, one of the studies that was, I, I found pretty interesting is came out of Australia um, with AOD uh, 9604 specifically, um, what they discovered is that um, it, it actually reverses um, insulin resistance, type two diabetes, um, it uh, didn't uh, create an increase in growth hormone that would uh, that could um, you know spike uh, blood glucose levels um, or drop them. So actually, um, uh, you know, uh, I think there's there there's a, a lot of evidence that shows the opposite when you're using growth hormone releasing peptides or growth hormone socratagogues. The one caveat is if you're not using ipamorelin, so um, ipamorelin, it stops the ghrelin pathways and ghrelin's that hormone that makes us all hungry. And so um, so there's, there's a lot of data that shows that um, in the early uh, uses of peptides, like bodybuilders would get all, um, you know, they would, they would bulk up by using like GHRP2, GHRP6, um, even like sermorelin. Uh, um, it was very common, uh, MK677, and and without using ipamorelin, you get hungry all the time. So you're putting on muscle mass, but you're also increasing hunger. And so I could see maybe in that where you, where people are overeating, that could maybe um, trigger a little bit of um, insulin resistance. But in general, um, growth hormone is actually uh, super supportive for those pathways because IGF-1 is you know, it's an insulin like growth factor. So that means it's carrying sugar and it makes you more insulin sensitive because it's, um, you know, carrying sugar right into the cell where it belongs. And especially if you have your patients exercising, you can stimulate the GLUT4 transporters, and then they'll have even greater levels of insulin sensitivity. So did that answer the question, Annie, or did I miss any of the details on that? I feel like you covered it. Um, Dr. Brenner, you're on here. If you have an additional question, you can type it into oh. the chat box. So, so yeah. Um, from Amy, yeah. awesome. Yeah, hey, yeah. Amy. <laughs> love and the question. Dr. Brenner actually had one more question, and I think this is more probably related to the pharmacist, Dr. Brenner, so you might want to reach out, um, but she was having trouble uh, pulling the Matsi out of, of the vial with the syringe. Like I've never had any issues with that. I know you guys probably haven't either. So I think it's probably just some sort of issue with the, the vial maybe itself, but Reagan, I'll let you, um, add on to that. Well, once I had a patient try to drop the powder and so, <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, well, you got to mix it's it. Not gonna work. Oh, there's two, you know, and, and this is where I love, uh, VPI cause it already comes, uh, lifealize. So it's already like ready to go. Um, but from Wells, um, oh, oh, here we go, man. I'm so glad you're on here, Amy. Um, they said dilute Mot C with two MLs instead of one ML. And yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Um, sometimes the pharmacy gives really, really crappy instructions. And it's just like, what in the hell that like, it doesn't even make any sense. Dilute Mot C with two MLs instead of one and inject 0.8. Like that's ridiculous. So all you need to do is keep it simple. One ml uh, per powder. So just take one ml of the bacteriostatic water and put it in the lyophilized agent and then draw the entire thing up and inject it. And you should be able to get um, get all of it. Yeah, because people will be annoyed if they I get annoyed if I can't get every last drop out of those damn vials because that's gold. And it's, it's not just the financial, but it's also, Hey, I want, I want the health benefits of this. And so, um, so yeah, I, I'm, uh, with, with the Mott C, uh, you know, usually you can get every, you know, obviously you're going to leave like a half drop in every vial, uh, but, um, yeah. So, and, and Amy, you're right. You can dose it at, at 0.5 mLs two times a week. Um, but, uh, you can also just do the entire thing in one injection and uh, that actually is just as good. I have some patients who um, we have them do it every day, uh, patients who are very severely uh, insulin resistant. And man, I love Moxie. It's such a powerful peptide. Um, so uh, if you can't get it out of the vial, um, if, it's, if it's still remaining in there, I would reach out to Wells and maybe there's, maybe they repackaged it, but I've never had an issue with that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I think just, you know, getting it down to one, one ML and, uh, injecting the entire thing and one 
fell swoop uh, will solve a lot of that problems because once you've got the needle in there and you got the momentum, it's much easier to draw the whole thing up. Right. So hopefully that remember, helps. Uh, I can't remember what state you're in, Dr. Brenner, but VPI Compounding Pharmacy is who we have been using and love. Um, oh, Ohio. I don't think they're licensed in Ohio yet, but I will find out for you and let you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll reach out to them and see because we, we like their goods for sure as well. They're both great companies to work with. Yes. Awesome. Well, that's all I had on questions this week. Okay. Um, well, good. Well, today I wanted to uh, go through and like I promised, <clears throat> this is going to be a little bit of an intro to the peptide party and Annie's um, going to have some amazing handouts uh, that she'll be using. Um, and these handouts, the cool thing, for those of you who attend live, only for those of you who are there, you're going to get the PDF version um, of uh, different handouts for categories of peptides. And so there's peptides that help you look your best and eat less. There's peptides that you've got for gut recharge. There's peptides for HPA stress, uh, the HPA stress reset for the hypothalamus pituitary and adrenals. There's the energy restore. Um, and, you know, there's your best weight uh, reset and recharge. And so there's all these cool, um, you know, kind of themes around peptides. And my, my intention of the peptide party is to make peptides feel very comfortable. By the time you're done with it, you're like, oh, this is a party. This is so fun. And I enjoy it. And I'm not stressed. Sometimes parties are stressful. I got, but um, this party is going to be fun. And, and it's, it's actually going to be very um, digestible and in, to the point where you can learn peptides really quick and and catch some little nuggets that you may not have known about peptides and then share that with your patients. And then you'll have this beautiful uh, document that um, will help educate your patients so that they have a very easy transition into these new novel structures. So Annie, what's your thoughts when you first saw kind of what we're doing on the peptide party? Oh man, I was pumped, and excited. I mean, I'm not a provider, but I'm always like, man, the more I know, the more I know. You know what I mean? It just gets me excited about healthcare and where it's going. So I love that you're going to be isolating it into such specific categories with such like concrete information behind it, how to stack it, how to use it, what it's for. I think it's just like a really good, like, you know, you get that like strong foundational layer and then some. So, so be ready to learn y'all. Yeah. Yeah. And I know sometimes when you dive into the portal, it's like, it's so cool learning about all the studies and all the research, but sometimes you just want things like really like in front of you quick, but you need more information than what we have in like our peptide sh cheat sheet. Yeah. It'll be really specific. Yeah. Really specific. So let's go through some of these. So I'm going to give you guys a little precursor. So, um, well, let's see, should we start with energy or, uh, the weight reset and recharge? Why not? Energy. There we go. Right okay. There. So, so if you think of that, this is uh, the energy, the mitochondria restore. But, um, but if you think about peptides that are really going to boost your energy and um, really get you feeling better, well, we talked about one of those today already, and that's Mot C. And uh, Mot C is you know typically a weekly one ml sub Q injection, or it could be twice a week at 0.5, or you can even divide it by seven and do it daily. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. But one of the uh, reasons why we, we do it weekly is because it can lose some potency, um, you know, after it's been uh, life alive. So, but um, that actually uh, has, uh, you know, it, it seems to be uh, pretty stable, um, but it may lose some potency. But, um, but here's what the mitochondrial peptides do, like MOTC, if you think of the mitochondria in the cell, that is really what is going to drive um, better translation and transcription factors in, in the DNA. It, the mitochondria, um, you know, it uh, activates, uh, is activated by and activates NAD and ATP production, which uh, anytime you have NAD going into the cell, you're going to see a massive improvement in, uh, you know, your sirtuin activation and sirtuin's you know, sirtuins are, you know, partially responsible for cleaning up the DNA and they kind of, they, they snip off the areas that are damaged. Uh, sirtuins also play a role in, in a new cellular division. 
um, depending on what sirtuin you're looking at. But um, MOTC is, uh, especially if you use MOTC or 5 amino one mq if you use those with NAD, um, it's a way to enhance longevity. And one of the things that MOTC is, is known for is the fact that um, this gene is more phenotypically expressed in Japanese populations that tend to live longer. Hey everybody, Reagan Archbald here. I hope you enjoyed the Go Wellness Show and maybe learned a couple things you could apply to your practice. If you're a healthcare entrepreneur who wants to work in an academic think tank with like-minded humans who are just like you, looking to provide better service, better quality of care for your patients, reach us at info at gowellness.com and we're happy to do a free practice analysis for you.